Welcome back, and it's time for what's last on our list, and KG football is back. We finally have some NFL games in the can from this past weekend. Half the teams, of course, are disappointed in the outcome, so I thought we'd look at something off the field, the mascot rankings. Oh, yes, I saw those. Not working for me, though, because we are Cowboys fans at our house, and our mascot, Rowdy, he ranked all the way down to 14. Not great. No, that's middle of the pack, and as you know, I'm a Detroit Lions fan. Which is rough. We haven't won anything since before I was born. Which was like a long, like a long time. You guys, like a long, long okay. time ago. Uh, we get the point. Very funny. But our mascot, Rory, squeaked into the top ten. He's number nine. If only the team could do as well. All right. Well, the number one mascot was Rampage for the Los Angeles Rams. Ridiculous. I protest. It looks like a child's plush toy and it eats garbage. Rory, way better. <laughs> Bitter much. <laughs> Coming in last place, the Kansas City Chiefs mascot, Casey Wolf. And here's something that's kind of sus. This is a scandal right up there with the flight gate. Perhaps. Two teams have two entries. Cleveland has Chomps and Brownie the Elf. New Orleans Saints have Sir Saint and Gumbo. I feel like they're throwing extra players on the field. Not cool. <laughs> hey, one last shout out for the best name, in my opinion. Sourdough Sam for the 49ers. Wait, he's named after bread? That's intimidating. <laughs> okay, if mascots matter though, lions are the king of the jungle, so you should win every season. So you're telling me the mascots have nothing to do with winning? Exactly. <laughs> and friends, that's what's last on our list. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.